What's up guys, it's Mia, it's Deja, and welcome back to Bulls TV! Alright Bulls, as you might not know, our video production students had their first chapter meeting for their Skills USA. Here's Brandon with more information. Hello Bulls, you may or may not know that last bullpen we had a Skills USA assembly. So here's a recap. Don't move because after a short commercial break, we have more information for you guys. Hey, Bulls. If you didn't know, on December 15th, NHS is having a closed drive. And if you want to help, please donate to the front office. Some of the things you can donate are shoes, shirts, jeans, and other things like that. And if you want to donate hygiene products, make sure that they are not open. All donations are appreciated. Hey, Bulls. This week, we're going to be showing you the rest of the games for the month of December. For women's high school basketball, they only have two games for the rest of the month of December. For high school boys basketball, they have nine games for the rest of the month of December. For girls flexible, they only have one game, which is today. Bulls, make sure to support all your high school sports teams. This is Deja Swanger, signing off. Okay, Bulls, Diego and JJ will be showing us how to change a tire for our new how-to segment. Let's check it out. Hello, Bulls. Today, we are going to be learning how to change a tire. Now, first things first, you want to make sure that you have a spare in or under your trunk. Now, you want to make sure you have a jack and something to take off the bolts of the tire. Next, you have to find a hard metal piece under your car to place the jack. Once you have the jack in place, make sure you keep raising the height so you can get the tire. When the car has reached a high enough point to where the tire can move by itself, that means it's time to take the bolts off. Now keep in mind, all car sizes have their own size bolts, so you wanna make sure you have a special tool to match that certain fit. When changing it, you wanna make sure you go reverse clockwise, as you see here. Go ahead and make sure you keep swirling this around, and eventually the bolts will go ahead and come out by itself. Once all bolts are off, you can go ahead, lift the tire up slowly, and take it off just like that. Now, when installing the new tire, make sure to keep an eye on these holes and match them with the side right here. Now, keep in mind, before you tighten all the bolts, you wanna just make sure you have them nicely placed on first and then you can go ahead and start the tightening process. Now, the order that you tighten them is also very important. Before tightening fully, title, tighten them inside of a star formation just like this. Now when you're tightening the bolts, you always want to make sure you don't tighten it too much because it'll end up messing up the tire. After you completed all these steps, the tire is ready to go and all that's left is to take the jack off. Well, Bulls, now that your tire is successfully changed, you can go ahead and drive the vehicle. If you didn't know how to change a tire, I hope this video helped you. The Christmas spirit is in the air, and Michael and Izzy have a great video for us competing against who has the best gingerbread house. Let's see who wins. Hey, Bulls. I'm Michael Monk. What are you talking about? Hey, Bulls. I'm Michael Monk. I'm Izzy Brunson. And today we are building gingerbread houses. Hey, Michael, I have something to tell you. What? You're using the roof. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> That's the roof. I think, I think they're um, doing a great job so far. You know, as you can see, Michael's got that wall I think wall the frosting can be more frostier. You know, I think the wall can be more wallier. You know? I think, uh... Who let them judge? I think, uh... You did, bitch. Yeah, it was literally him. How do you feel about your house, Izzy? I'm a little stressed. It's not really, like... I don't oh, think it's gonna... The frosting, you know. is it frosting? 
unfortunately. It's like paste. Uh, Michael, I think you're uh, you need to catch up, dude. Our house like is... she's already got some alcohol. Hey. Hey. Oh, Michael, your progress. Well, it was going good okay. until I was building the house upside down. Honestly, so far, I definitely got to go with Izzy. She actually has um, somewhat of a house. Michael, y'all know what's going on with me. Say Michael's not as tapped in as I thought he was. We're gonna get stuck in this family. What's your strategy, Michael? Um, well, I was trying to be as neat and organized as I could. Uh, then things went downhill because I put the roof as my walls. And it's not working as well as I thought it was going to. You know, if we still had a microwave in here, oh. I feel like the frosting. My bag busted. <laughs> See, now her bag is busting. <laughs> so, hot take. Do you need permission to? As you can see, I'm the winner, like always. I'm just too good. All right, Bulls. So we have for today. I'm Michael Monk. And I'm Izzy Brunson. Signing off. Wow. One of those houses were pretty good, and the other. Well, anyways, let's head to commercial break. Hey, Bulls. Winter break is upon us, which means Spirit Week's coming soon. So let's talk about it. Spirit Week's going to run a little bit differently, though, starting on Wednesday the 13th instead of Monday. Wednesday is Deck the Holiday, which is Dress as a Present. Thursday is The Grinch Stole Fashion, also known as Ugly Sweater Day. Friday is Polar Express Day, or Pajama Day. Starting back on Monday, for only middle school and high school, it's Cozy Cabin Day, which is Flannel Shirt Day. And for elementary, it's Whoville Day, which is Crazy Hair Day. And finally on Tuesday, Slam Winter Wonderland, K, 6th, and 9th grade. Green Elf, 1st, 7th, and 10th grade, White Snowman, 2nd, 4th, 8th, and 11th grade, Brown Reindeer, 3rd, 5th, 12th, a Red Santa. We hope to see you guys showing your slam spirit and have a wonderful winter break. Anyways, this was Kenzo Yaffe reporting for Bulls TV. Before we leave, we have our special Christmas guest, Elf on the Shelf, around slam. Let's check it out. Bulls, Elf on the Shelf is back. Be on the lookout for hitting elves around the school. Has SLAM been doing this for the past years? Uh, yes, SLAM has done it for a couple years, in and out, but this year we're really getting on to it. Make sure to DM the SLAM Stupid account at SLAMNB Estupo if you're the lucky one to find it out. DM SLAM Stupo and send them a picture. Your reward is a free dress pass that you can use for any project. There is also a QR code you can scan to claim your prize. If you want more information about it, make sure to take a look at the flyers that are around in the hallways. This is Sarah signing off. Oh, well, that's all we have for today, guys. But remember, 
Be smart, play fair, and stay safe. See you guys next time. Perfect.